Hi everyone, it's Jung here. Today I'm sharing my projects that I made using the Spellbinders July 2019 Large Die of the Month. This month it's called the 3D Funtime Cruiser and you get all the die pieces you need to create this cute little tricycle with the baskets as well as a few pieces to decorate. I made this blue tricycle off camera just to get a feel of the dies and how they fit together. And so now I'm gonna put one together on camera with you and uh, let's get started. I wanted my second little cruiser to look a little bit more vintage and so I'm gonna choose my colors accordingly. My um, tricycle body is gonna be that coral color. My tires are gonna be kind of cream colored and then uh, for my seat and handlebar grips, I wanted to use that tan leather kind of color. And so that's what you're going to see me die cutting now. And what I'm showing you here is that a couple of the dies, they have several different pieces grouped together. And so you see that the um, seat and the fender was grouped together. And so I'm going to have to die cut that a couple of times out of different colored cardstock because I want my seats to be that leather color, but I want my fenders to be white. And so that's just kind of what I'm showing you there. I'm gonna go ahead and die cut all my pieces and then I'll be back to tell you how many of each piece that you need to cut out. Now this piece here is going to create your basket. You can add these three inner pieces which will emboss the basket weave texture or you can keep them off if you want your baskets to look smooth. Okay, so here are all my pieces die cut. I cut that basket piece with the basket weave texture four times. That piece up there I cut out twice, that will be for the bottom of the basket. And the tires I cut out of cream cardstock a total of six times. I cut the wheel spokes from silver cardstock a total of three times. I die cut the body one time. These pieces that look like drumsticks, they're gonna be the fork of the basket. I cut it out twice. This piece here will be for the back two wheels. It connects them together, like you see here, and I cut it out one time. And the little circles in coral, I cut out a total of three times. These are the fenders. I cut them out three times in white, but I actually will need four. These are two of the petals in silver. The four white squares are for the petals as well. I cut it out twice. The handlebars, you only need to cut out once because there's two pieces. The seat, there's also two pieces. I cut it out once. And for the handlebar grips, I believe I cut them out twice because there's two pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna start assembling and I'll start by adding the tires to the spoke. And I'm just gonna add some glue all the way around and glue it right on top. And I'm going to do that for all three of the spokes. I'm going to also add that coral circle that we die cut three times to the middle of the spoke for some extra detail. And once I get all the pieces glued, I'm going to flip over the tire and add a cream colored tire to the back of the spoke as well. Now ideally my uh, silver colored cardstock would be silver on both sides, but it's only silver on one side, but I'm going to make it work. Now I'm going to only put the tires on the back of two of these spokes and you'll see why here in a second. So just keep that in mind. I only have them on the back on two of the tires. So now I'm going to work on the pedals. I decided to make the pedals white on my other bike. They were black, but on this one I wanted to do it white and I'm going to put the white little rectangles on both sides. 
and I'm going to do both of them the same way. And again, ideally, this would be silver on both sides, but it's not. I'm going to make it work anyway. I'm so sorry that I keep going out of view. I forget when I zoomed in. All I'm doing is pulling the um, pieces up closer so that I can see that they're lined up perfectly. I'm going to be gluing the white fenders on the front of all three of my tires, so the side that has the silver on them. And then next I will bring over the body of the tricycle and I'm going to glue on the seat. Um, again, I only had to die cut the seat once because there's the front side and a back side, so I just glued, glued on the front side and I'm going to glue on the coordinating back side as well. Next, I'll be gluing on the grips to the handlebar. There is a left and right side for the handlebar and a front and back for the grips, and so I'm going to glue that on for both handlebar sides. And here is the die that connects the two back wheels. There is two score lines that you fold and there is a slit in the middle. I'm going to be working on putting my baskets together. These pieces that I'm working on right now are actually for the bottom of the basket and there are two score lines. These textured pieces are for the sides of the basket and there are two score lines on those as well. Each basket is going to need two side pieces and one bottom piece. I'm going to be using liquid glue to attach them, so you want to uh, glue one of the side pieces. And do the same for the other side. Then I'm going to go ahead and glue the bottom of the basket in. You can see I glue in one side first and then the other side, and then kind of tap it down to make sure it's even, and then I'll set those aside to dry. I am going to attach the handlebars. Here is the front side, and you can see it lines up to the top of the frame, and here is the other side, so I guess technically that would be the left handlebar. Next, I'm going to add the pedals. So you'll be able to see the silver side on this side. And then I'm going to flip it over and orient the pedal opposite the pedal of the front side. So since on the other side the pedal was on the bottom, on this side the pedal will be on top. I hope that makes sense. Next, I'm going to be gluing on those extra fork pieces. It just covers up that little piece of the handlebar on top and just gives it a cleaner look. And I'm going to glue on the other side as well. I went ahead and cut the fourth fender from white cardstock and I forgot to push record on the camera, but all I've done is glued the front tire on so far. Now I'm going to glue the cream tire piece to the back side of the wheel. And this is why uh, in the beginning we only glued the back side to two of the wheels. This is the third wheel that we hadn't glued that on. And I'm going to glue it on now. So it goes over the fork. And then I'm going to glue on the fender piece. And I just think it looks more symmetrical from the front and back. Obviously, this back side doesn't have the silver spokes, but I think it looks more similar now that the tire and the fender is glued on top of the fork. I hope that makes sense. So next, I'm going to connect the uh, little connector piece for the back tires, and I'm just going to glue them on, trying to keep in mind that the fender needs to be on top. I'm going to glue on this side, again, keeping in mind the fender on top. And now I'm going to glue on my baskets. If you wanted this to be a foldable uh, tricycle so that you could stick it in an envelope, all you would have to do is leave the bottoms off of these baskets and they would fold. Um, I'm just going to use them as decoration and I wanted to put the bottoms on the baskets in case I wanted to fill them. So this is the little tricycle done. 
Now all it needs is a little embellishment. This little cruiser is so cute from whichever side you look at it from. I decided to keep it simple and I'm just going to add the sentiment that comes with a large die of the month. It coordinates with the uh, trekking through the seasons, but this one says fun times and I die cut it from the coral cardstock that I used for the body of the tricycle. I cut the background piece from white cardstock to kind of match the fenders and the petals. And I made sure to die cut them twice so that I could put it on each side of the basket. I'm just going to glue all my sentiments and my little cruiser is done. I hope you check out the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month kit. These were so fun to put together and they look so cute in my craft room. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And as always, I'll leave the link to my blog post as well as the Spellbinders website in the info bar. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Hey guys, check out my channel. Papa Bessie Pario. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Time is I. Papa Bessie Pario. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Time is I.